is located, is a, is a two hour drive just north of here in the San Bernardino City Unified School District. Our population is 73% Hispanic, 26% African American, and 1% white. 98% of our students receive free or reduced lunch. Although our community faces several challenges, GIS is helping students to be a force for good. Today you will hear about three different projects, two of which integrate GIS into our regular classes, and one is a collaboration with our Career Academy. With me today are recent graduates, Richard Hale, Nicholas Morales, and to start us off, incoming senior, Vernell Horsley. Thank you, Ms. Blackburn. I have always wanted to help my community. A problem I see around me is underage drinking, and I want to help end it. I realized I could use GIS to figure out the patterns and relationships that influence teenage drinking. So, I made maps and made a discovery. The first custom layer I created was the 86 different schools we have in the San Bernardino School District, as you can see. The next layer I created was the 123 liquor stores and markets we have in the San Bernardino area. I did a proximity analysis to find the half a mile walking distance around the stores, which is the purple buffer around it. Some large grocery stores have higher security, which can make it harder for a teen to get alcohol, rather than a liquor store with less security, which can make it easier for a teen to get alcohol. This layer is population density. The darker areas represent a higher density, which can make it easier for a teen to find someone to buy them alcohol. One reason teens drink is because they live in lower income households with parents that work multiple jobs, which can be hard, which can be stressful on a teen. In the San Bernardino city, we have a low income rate, which are the lighter green areas. Some parents don't work, so some teens tend to drink to ignore the problems the family is facing. Unfortunately, in the San Bernardino area, we have a high unemployment rate, which are the darker purple spots. I compared my custom layers to my living atlas layers to find the relationship. I found that as the income level increases, the unemployment rate, population density, number of schools, number of liquor stores, and the number of rehab centers decrease. However, as the income level decreases, those five factors go up. Although we have rehab centers in San Bernardino, those will never be the only solution. My dream is to open a community center for teens to help them through their challenges in life. All we need to do is stick together and help each other out. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nicholas Morales. My social studies teacher asked me to create a story map journal using ArcGIS Online. I used a public account and taught her how to use it, and now all of her students use it in, re in research projects. I want to become a politician someday, so I thought, why not create a story map journal in the current presidential election? On the main page, the blue diamonds represent the Democratic delegates, and the red circles represent the Republicans. The symbols show how many delegates are available in each state based on the population of that state. This is a lot of data, so I'll break it down. This page shows Donald Trump. It shows the percentage of delegates captured by Trump in each state. So, the largest red circles show 100% of the delegates going to Trump for that state, and the smaller circles indicate a lower percentage. Just for an example, in Florida, there are 99 available delegates. And Donald Trump has all 99. So in that state, he gets a larger red circle. On this page, I have a map that includes both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. The symbol color shows how many delegates are available. No, excuse me. The symbol colors show how influential the candidates are in each state. So the light blue areas show where Sanders' strongholds are, and the dark areas show where Clinton is strongest. On my last page, I have a map that includes all three candidates together to compare how influential they are in each state and how many delegates are available in these states. I look forward to college next year and to mentoring Career Academy GIS students at San Andreas High School and to someday use GIS in my own campaign. Thank you. Uh, 
Hello, my name is Richard Hill. I started using GIS software at the beginning of this school year. Our GIS Career Academy was asked by the City of Highland to create a database of all the street signs within the city. <clears throat> to accomplish this task, we used the app Survey123. We created Excel, we, we, <laughs> we created surveys for street signs, sidewalks, street lamps, and blight. We created the surveys using Excel forms and published them into Survey123. Let me show you how easy it is to collect data out in the field. When you open up the survey, these basic questions come up. Like, is there a sidewalk? Yes. Is there obstructions on the sidewalk? Yes. As you answer these questions, some of them give you additional options depending on your answer, like this one. Does it need maintenance? Yes. And the additional answers pop up. You can also get the geo point and take a picture. And the awesome thing about it is you can choose to send the data now or later depending on your Wi-Fi access. Let's look at all the data that we have collected. Here you can see our school's, mile, you can see our school's one mile radius within the red circle. And you can see also the highly irregular green polygon, which is the city's border. Let's get into one of our inventories. Here's our blight inventory, which includes graffiti, dumping, boarded up windows, abandoned houses, and potholes. I was able to show this information on the heat map. Notice there was little blight in East Highland, and look how intense the blight becomes in the areas around our school. This was a, just a brief summary of our field work, which involved four teachers, over 100 students, and 15 sections of collected data. Thank you. Wow. I am so proud of each of you. Thank you for all your hard work. You now have permission to breathe. <laughs> Let me share something even more awesome. San Andreas High School is a continuation high school, a credit recovery school. Our students complete a semester's worth of work in only six weeks. All of our students come to us with a story. We have students who have been bounced around the foster system, students who have been in and out of juvenile hall, students who are parents, students who have to work full time to help support their household, and students who are homeless. They all have struggles, and it is our job to embrace these challenges. At the beginning of this school year, none of these students had the self-confidence you saw today. None of these students would have ever believed they would receive scholarships to college, yet both Nick and Richard received several scholarships this year. I am confident Vernell will receive scholarships next year. We were able to be here to share with you today with the help of my team teachers, Andy Kamrat and Dory Stratton, and our geo mentor, James Martinez. We could not have done this without your help. Thank you. You guys did such great work. It, isn't it exciting? when you see young people who are anxious to make a difference. We've made it really easy for schools to get started. But there's one thing that helps educators and students go farther, faster. One thing that has been common among all of the teams that have been up here on stage. Tell them, Joseph. It's a geo-mentor, someone excited about what teachers and students can do with GIS. Mentors might help a teacher find data, serve maps online, set up field work, or talk about careers. Some commit an hour a week, others an hour a semester, or be on call as needed. You can start easily at geomentors.net. There is guidance 
and you can register so that an educator can find you. So, on behalf of all of the students that some of you are already helping, the students and teachers, and for those of you who are going to be helping others in this coming year, and once more for this great team, thank you very much. Thank you.